In today's video, I'm going to give you part one of a five-part series in which we're going to break down a full scheme from the 4-3 under defense. What's up, guys? For those of you that don't know, my name is Cody, and I'd like to welcome all of you guys to today's video. In today's video, what we're trying to accomplish is we're trying to help you get better in Madden 18 by giving you a free scheme from the 4-3 under defense in Madden 18. And so the real goal of today is that you walk away with one play that you can really utilize uh, as a base defense in Madden. So 4-3 uh, under, what you want to do is you could substitute in anyone you want. I like the Minnesota Vikings for this defensive scheme. I think they're, personally, I think they're one of the better defenses in the entire game. Um, and so what I like to do is I like to stack my pass rushers here on the left. So I'm going to take Daniel Hunter, put him on the outside. I'm going to put Everson Griffin right in here. And then I'm going to put my best defensive lineman, whoever that may be, my best defensive tackle, nose guard here, Limbaugh Joseph. And then right here, pretty much anybody can go here. Um, Sharif Floyd, Tom John, I mean, anyone really. But the guy that I like is this Weatherly. He's actually a man, Jim. If you go look at his stats, he's really, really good. Um, your user player is this guy right here. So I'm going to make that Anthony Barr just because I like to use him. He's like 6'5". So, and then what you want to do is you want to put your best linebacker overall right in here, Eric Kendricks. And then here, um, pretty much anybody can play here. Uh, this guy, Brothers, is pretty good if you look at his ratings. On the corners, uh, this is critical. Your two best zone covering corners, your two best, they go right here. So Harrison Smith is one of them, and Andrew Sendejo is another one. But I'm actually going to sub in Alvin uh, Anthony Harris here, uh, put him here. And then on the outsides, I've got Xavier Rhodes and Trey Wayne. So the reason I put Anthony Harrison over Sendejo is because he has a little bit better coverage. If you want to, what you can do, put Sendejo here and put Smith here. Okay, so that's the lineup aspect and the play that we're going to be talking about today. Now, this is a play. If they come out, and, and basically if they come out in, in three wide receivers or more, right, three wide receivers or more, you're coming out in this play. This is your base pass defense, base pass defense. It's not your base run defense, but it's your base pass defense. It's the Mike Will Cross. All right, so here's how you're going to set it up. You're gonna And you're going to set your uh, defense up every time the same way. You're going to base a line. Oh, whoops, I'm sorry. i got to change one thing. Um, i got to change one thing here. I did not turn auto flip off. Your coaching adjustments, uh, you have to go into the settings, looks like, to do it when practice mode. But make sure when you go into a game that, especially for this defense, because we're going to be doing some blitzing, you want to make sure that your auto flip is off. That's really important, okay? Because if it's not, it's going to continually flip the formation, and it's going to put people out of position. So you want 4-3 under, and you want Mike Will Cross. And we're going to come out. Uh, let's find a play. All right, so what you want to do is you want to base the line. You want to show blitz. The reason you want to show blitz is because it's going to bring this safety specifically all the way down in the box, as well as this one right here. So now you basically have an 8, um, or not even an 8. You have a 9-man uh, box, okay? That's essentially what we're looking at here. From there, what you want to do is you want to take – Hunter, okay, you can leave him on this zone if you want. What I like to do is put him on hard flats. So I'll just do that by shading the coverage down, okay? And then from there, what you want to do is you want to take Kendricks and you want to put him in a hook zone. Now, your responsibility is the left side seam. This safety is going to take the middle of the field entirely. So your job is the left side seam. At the snap of the ball, you're just going to cover this left side seam. You're going to get some decent middle pressure here. Whoops, I'm sorry. I, told, I was thinking the wrong defense. I told you the wrong wrong guy to use her. Sorry about that. So baseline press, or not press, but baseline show blitz. Okay, that's done. Shade coverage down. And then you're going to take Anthony Barr, and you're going to use her him. What I like to do is um, also put that guy on the left side in a vertical hook. So it looks something like this. Okay. Okay. Um, So this is, this is what your defense should look like. And the snap of the ball, what you're going to see here is you're going to get some nice delayed A-gap pressure. You're going to use in the middle, and you're going to see the power of this defense, is, is this specific defense, is not necessarily the pressure that you're going to generate, okay? Um, because you're not always – if you want to generate more, you could pinch your linebackers. Um, you could do a couple of different things uh, with your defensive line 
but basically, I, I wouldn't count on generating like you know nano type pressure. What I what I would count on if I were you um, is the simple. I don't know what's going on with my guy here. I can't do anything. But um, what I would count on if I were you is a, is a simple threat of inside pressure. And what's going to happen is they're not going to be able to step up in the pocket. To me, that's one of the biggest advantages and things that you can do in this year's game um, is take that away. Because if you take that away, it makes it difficult to do everything else. It makes it very difficult to do everything else. So, again, here's what you want it to look like. And then we want uh, this uh, left end here to be in a hard flat. And at the snap of the ball here, you're going to see, and you'll sometimes get some pressure, uh, but it just it just fires in off that in the in, that inside middle, and then the coverage is just phenomenal. Okay, so that's your base pass uh, defense, or what I would I would say that's just your base in general. And then uh, tomorrow we're going to talk about Tampa two, how we use Tampa two, why it's important. It's probably the one of the better pass defenses uh, ever in Madden. So be sure to come back to watch that video. But anyways, guys, I want to thank you for watching today's video. And uh, if you need the setup, the setup will be in the description. Also, if you like videos like these, I want to encourage you to check out my entire uh, pr my premium membership because my premium membership gets you access to everything. Everything that I've got, I've poured into this premium membership. And it comes with every week. We do about a one hour long update. So think about this video and we do it for hour uh, 30 minutes to an hour on every play that we talk about. So just consider the premium membership. In my opinion, it's really the best place to start if you're looking to get better in Madden.